Stop thinking about sin. One of the first things that you should do after you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior is stop thinking about sin because Jesus dealt with our sin on the cross. God is no longer dealing with sin in our lives. You know, I, I think there's a couple times in the Bible where, God, where it says God will remember our sin no more. Why does he say that? Because we're going to continue to sin until Jesus comes. But he chooses not to look at that because that is our soul struggling. And those are weaknesses inside of us. And he told us what, what he's going to do with those weaknesses. He's going to add his strength to it so it becomes perfect strength. We are wrestling. Let's see, these struggles, we are wrestling the enemy. And look what Ephesians 6, 12 says, what we're wrestling, what we're fighting. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Beloved, we cannot fight the spiritual wickedness. We have to let Jesus do it, all right? We have to, these struggles in our soul are just, they're battles. They're battles for our soul. There are battles for our identity. The devil is after that. And we will never win these battles on our own. We have to bring all of these struggles, all of these battles, one at a time to Jesus and allow him to walk us through. I love this quote by, by Martin Luther. It says, where there is forgiveness of sin, there is life and all blessedness. We do not obtain forgiveness by good works, but through the forgiveness of sin come good works. First, remove sin from the conscience and it will also be dethroned in the heart. Did you see that? Let's say that one more time. First, remove sin from the conscious, con and it will also be dethroned in your heart. So stop thinking about sin.